This South African woman was raped by a minibus driver on her way to work. She managed to flag down passers-by and the perpetrator was caught. But her attacker was never convicted, even though her blood was smeared on his vehicle. So Most of the time, radio and television campaigns encourage us to come forward to report rape. But when we come forward, they make us feel guilty for the rape. Sometimes people are discouraged from reporting rape because the police assume the rapist is your boyfriend. Many South African rape victims feel let down by the police. 150 rape cases are reported every single day, but less than 10% of cases that go to trial end in a guilty verdict. There's a strong sense of hopelessness, there's this deep frustration, but even hopelessness that is experienced by the victims and their families, because it's almost as if they feel they're fighting the system. They're not only fighting the perpetrator. Feeling there's nowhere to turn, women are increasingly taking matters into their own hands. Self-defense classes for women are on the rise across the country. As for the police, they recognize that things need to change. We need to give confidence. We need to respond to the outcries of millions of our people that uh, our police force does not respond adequately to this matter. In recent years, the South African government has opened 57 specialized sexual offenses courts. But perhaps the greatest sign of progress was at a recent rally for women's rights where men were as numerous as women.